Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Last part, we went, came to this new plant. I already forget the name. Met... N Noika? Noika. New ally. And uh, Oh god. Now we're fighting! Come on! Ugh. Who has a gun? Oh wait, my friends, right. So I thought that thing in the back was shooting. Get it! Oh, uh, uh, it's not working. Let's try and press the other one. Oh, I'm burning. Who? Who? Deal with it. Well, this ain't good. Oh boy, it's all me now. Who? Ow. Uh, truce. Who? What's my other gun? I forget. I doubt that would work. Come on, just burn out. Oh, I've done it. I'm still on fire. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things may happen to your characters that can trigger a flaw offer. Take the flaw, taking the flaw is optional, but doing it so provides you with a perk. Herpetophobia. After too many encounters with manta pillars and mantasaurs, you're not quite yourself when you, with when any of the manta family of creatures are attacking your party. Oh, but I get a perk. But these effects happen. No, no, I really want it. Who? Oh, who's this guy? Good job, team. Okay, and we're also climbing up this mountain to find somebody. I don't remember who, but he could help us. Or I think he can help um, Phineas with something. Oh, come on. Can we, can we, can we even get around them? Okay, do I have any other better guns? LMG, fire does good against these guys, I think. Oh, that's a lot of ammo. Let's do it. Okay. Ow. Rock off. Oh boy. Oh boy. Help me. Okay, I really would have thought this would have shot faster. Doing good damage, though. Oh boy. Wrong button. I can still probably use that, though. Come on, bitches. Whoo! You're running. You're scared. Bring it on, Manta Queen. I thought there would only be like a few of you. Oh, you're back. So if I run too far, their aggro goes away, but do they get health back? Why is it on the ground? Did it die? Oh, there's more. Alright, you deal with those. There we go. You good, Pravati? Come on, get up. Oh, so wait. So these take the same ammo. Oh, it's energy ammo. I don't know why I thought it was like light. When did I get this? Was that recent? Oh wait, shotgun is light ammo? I really have to look at stuff instead of just picking it up. Okay, eh, might as well keep this on. There's a lot of... What's the DPS on this? Yep. It's a lot. And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Finally. Too far oh no. How the hell did Marauders navigate the caverns? Wait, what happened? Oh, it's Marauders up there. What was that? Just kidding. Oh, probably you. Hello. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. Uh, no. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear. 
But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. What are you doing up here? Hunting marauders? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. P.O.s? Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. Do I have to go back down the mountain? Uh... Yeah, can you help me kill them? There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. Okay. Uh. Yep, there's a lot of marauders up there. Wait, where's your officer? City Southeast? Where is he at? Quit bothering me. I gotta keep an eye on the area. Sans distractions. Quit bothering me. Okay. I gotta keep an eye on the area. Sans distractions. Uh, let me just quickly go check if he's down here. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers were I probably the could just take them all on, but. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent. Which one is in charge? Person, but that's How'd you get up here? Through the caves? No, I came down the mountain. Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut shotting you. What? See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. Sure, just All butt right. into the conversation, first Lance. First. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm gonna need to know what your role in your organization is. Captain? Sure. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. Uh, that's right. I'm looking for a hero, but I really need to get. Or it'd be nice if Troy can help me out. Well, that's all well and good, but the reason you've come is secondary to the arbitration at hand. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you. From the premises permanently. Please don't. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo like in appearance. I really don't care. Rude, ain't he, Don? A smidge, yeah. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Too many big words. Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm. But I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. I'm just... Who can convince me? Yeah, let me persuade you. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. Yeah, you would. All right. Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say he's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? Can somebody convince Joy to come with me? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know, our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. Berthold? Who's that? That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man. Founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. Let me guess, he's dead? He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although... He should have been back, going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. 
Uh, are you gonna kill him too? Space no. The contract doesn't target C threes. How do we enforce it otherwise? You make excellent Quite points. Cold blooded, ain't he, Donald? Can we just go do it ourselves? He's too busy. Look, much as we'd like to slaughter some marauders, we can't act unless it's on orders. You guys are Those a bunch of nerds. I could lie. What are these other options? If the marauders kill your client, you won't get paid. Once the marauders finish wrecking the station, they're gonna come here and eat you alive. Oh god. Uh, let me lie. No, sir. We do not know that. I ain't about to forsake Birdie that easily. I can lie again. What's that plus? Does that mean like um? Does that mean one of my allies can either jump in on it or, since I have one of them, it like boosts it? I found him dying in the cave. I, he said to tell you I'm replacing him as head of C3. Oh wow, what a promotion! You, you're his protege. I mean, no offense, but I, I never would have figured. I mean, space me. What are the orders, boss? Well, that was easy. If you're wanting to clear the station of all hostiles, there's something you ought to know. Oh? The broker's a real paranoid type. I'd wager my keenest knife he's got the place on lockdown. Booby trapped. Add the marauders and we'll be walking into a veritable death gauntlet. Well, as long as you so guys go first. You find a way to jimmy the front door and we'll clean house on the main level. I'll wire ahead to Joy and Hudson for support. All right, C3s, prepare to head out. I think from now on, I'm going to try and get my dialogue skills as high as I can, because it'd be really helpful just to, like, skip action, even though it's fun, but, like, it saves me a lot of time. You ever been off Monarch, Pioca? Before you met the captain, I mean, nah. Oh, uh, she still hasn't. We haven't even left here. You stop to dream of other things. I always wanted to poke stop doing and that. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. The gun's trigger happy, one. Or are, or you are. Ain't it the same, really? I'd say me and my piece mean each other halfway on the issue. She likes to be used, and I like to put her to good use, as so very often as I can. Sounds like you're talking about vibrator or, or dildo. But it's probably best not to walk directly in front of us. You know what? After you. You're a okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday. I'll follow you. Go on. You can do it. Look, Hudson, he's going. He's strong. Come on, Joy. Don't just stand there. There you go. System. What was that? Security patrol. <laughs> you guys are taking too long. Oh! Was there someone else who ran by me? Who was that? Hey, hey, ow. Oh boy. Great shot. Get him, Bravati. Oh. Oh. All right, I need to uh, collect some ammo. And stay down, miscreant. Ooh. And stay down, miscreant. Okay, how many of you are going to say that? <sighs> uh, just fall again. All right, you know what? Who wants some weapons? Ooh. Ooh. Can I give you... How much does that weigh? Three pounds? Uh, let me just break some of that stuff down. I don't know why I keep backing out. No, let me give you a better gun. Uh, oh, you can have... Or no. Nikoi has the... Fire. I have this. Alright, time to get rid of some stuff. Alright, should be good for now. 
How many times in these games do you get over encumbered? What is this? It's alright, so I can definitely shoot it. What is it, like, skag or slag? Is this like a sniper? Alright, I'll take that. And I'll get rid of this one. That's sealed. Here, um, oh. He locks that door, but he doesn't lock this door. They're like right next to each other. There's a lot of people in here. Let's go with this. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't? We'll see about that. Is he talking to us or what is he talking about? Alright, let's do this. I'm stuck. We're alive. That was easy. Here's the elevator, but I ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. How do we lift the lockdown? What the hell is this? Checkers? I could pick this. What do we got in here? Stun Baton Ultra? Eh. Elite troop armor. I already have that, right? Yeah. Always lot, so I don't need it. Ooh, mods. Thank you. And a shovel. I'm good. Ah, uh, lore. Go ahead and read it. What is that, four times I've done that now? Alright, what's through here? Oh, a bathroom. No more rattles have to take a shit, huh? Okay, why in the future would you ever want a stall like this? These are stalls, right? Like, they're toilets for... Yeah, they're sitting down toilets. There's not even a urinal. Is this a ladies' bathroom? There's no sign. How would I know? Okay, but... Pravati. Pravati. Okay. Nikoya. If I was sitting here, like so, wouldn't that be awkward? Okay, you don't have to sit with me. But if I was... I can't jump on it. If I was sitting there... I could just peek out a little bit, and you can see me. That's awkward. You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. You talking to me? I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? We've already killed a bunch. And you, Nioka. Nioka. What are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago. Oh no. That's the worst. I need an information broker. I need to see the information broker about... No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later, as I said... There are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. Like what? The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name. And doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. I agree with her. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you... Speaking of, I'm working with Baratolt. C3 is ready to fight. Oh, now they'll take action. Don't worry, I'm, I'm the new leader. I tell you. I'm up to my neck and marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. Don't worry, I'll dock their pay. I've the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. Ooh. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Okay. Uh, I don't care. Don't care. All right, now you know we say we're gonna pay me double. Okay, can I uh, convince the others to come in now? Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. All right, one second. Oh. 
Okay, so they're entering as we speak. Let's go, people. Friends? There they are. Fight! How fast can this fire? I got bad aim. Where are the bad ones? They're all dying. Oh, where'd he go? Oh. Puke hammer. Or pulse hammer. I don't know why I said puke. Oh, they're still fighting. They're moving ahead. Alright, they're going fast. I gotta keep up. Oh wait, did that guy just kill them all? Oh crap, Donald! Lance! Oh no, <laughs> my two right men. What happened to Joy? Okay, we're here. Will do. We see that's how you deal. Wait, what's wrong with my armor? Is it broken? Ooh, the condition's pretty low. All right, gotta fix that or either get a new one. But that's how you deal with problems. You get other people to get in front of you and then they take the damage and you get the XP. Duh. Okay, how's it going? Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Best part is, some of them died, so I have to pay them all. I didn't do it out of the goodness of my heart, if you get my drift. Hmm, yes, I believe I do. This ought to square our debt. Thank you. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? I forget. I'm looking for a certain information broker. Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Because you called yourself the broker. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late. But I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. Fibbing? I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. We'll wait. Caring or not won't change the facts of the matter. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. So kick, so we kick them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Uh, can we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Who are those? Alright, where are these places? You'll find it directly to the east, almost in sighting distance of Devil's Peak Station. What about the other one? My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. I, I could. Do what you like. Just oh. don't tell me about it after. I enjoy sleeping at night. Okay. I'll rip their skins off and then bring it to you. Does she need a favor? Oh, great. 
I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Ooh, I could persuade. She's your friend and she's in need. You're the only one who can help. She's trying to track down a lucrative contract. We... Mm, I remember what she wants. Let's persuade. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, alright? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Uh, okay. Let's head out. Sure. You know where to find me if you need me. Where? I'm guessing here. Okay. What is this? Laboratory system thing? Oh boy. A bunch. What did I just do? Huh. Oh. Okay, lore. 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 I think it took me just until like this part or last part ooh, to realize bit cartridges is what the money is. Nicely done. So I gotta make sure I pick all that up. A lot more mods. Okay, let's head out. Did, are there any survivors from the C3s? Alright, still walk. Did any of them survive? Like, Joy and that Hudson and the robots? Are the robots okay? What is that sound? Is that you? Shut up! Did I do anything? Okay, um... Wait, am I on the right mission? Oh, I'm on the troopers. No, where's, um... This one. Listen, we'll help your friends another time, okay? Okay. Let's go to the town because I also want to find a workbench and try and fix my armor or mod it up. There we go. Okay. How much does it cost to repair that armor? 15? Do I need to wear the armor? I don't even know what I have. No, that's right, I got plus five to stealth. I should probably just keep this on because it does the most protection. But I don't like how you can't see my beautiful face as much. Right, I'm just gonna get rid of the, all the armor I'm not using. Now, what? Can I mod this up? Or did I already? I don't remember. Hunter kit. Ranged weapon skills increase. Increase your melee and defensive skills. Increases your attack skills. Backpack. Geographic scanner. Increases the range of interactable objects are highlighted. And another backpack. Oh, that one costs... Or that one's prime. That's why. Uh, Alright, let's put the backpack on. And uh, thug. Can I not modify the pistol I have? Hmm. I can't even mod the shrink ray. Shrink. Shrink ray. When did I pick that up? Okay. Uh, let's go find that guy. Actually, just so I don't go crazy editing this again, uh, I'm going to leave this part here. We'll get to these guys in the next part. Thank you for watching. Be sure to ever down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share. I'll see you all in the next part.
Goodbye.